What's up guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're gonna install an AG68 gear and brake controller into the uh, Aerofoam MB339 EDF. They come in a sealed bag. It is a bag, it is come, come sealed. It has extensions in there and it has a Y cable also in there. Um, there's no way to open this without tearing it up and the instructions are always included in there. Um, basically, this is what the instructions look like and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now, um, for the purpose of this, I'm not going to be doing the landing gear. I'm just going to do the brakes and the steering so you can see what it, you know, how it gets connected. I already removed the stock brake controller. Uh, I removed all the connections. I removed the receiver so you can see me doing it from the beginning. So I'm just going to take the actual brakes and connect them directly to, to where the brakes would go in and just follow the plus and minus signs right there. Um, if you notice, if you pay attention to it on the brakes, uh one the plus signal is on the top and the second one is on the bottom so red black black red is how they go in that's the brakes that's basically how you plug in the brakes then it uh we go to the other side we're not gonna do the landing gear so we're gonna leave that alone for right now so back to the uh, other side you have gear in brake in rudder in and steering servo now for the retracts this is gonna my, my uh, retracts uh controller right there so i'm just gonna plug that in there and follow the signs again for plus, minus, and signal. Um, for break-in, you're gonna use one of your uh, male-to-male adapters and just hook it up in there and just follow the signal wires again. Now for rudder-in, even though I have enough channels, I'm gonna use the Y adapter just to follow the instructions. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug this in to your rudder-in and follow the signals again Plus minus a signal. This is the rudder connection coming off the back of the airplane. So I'm gonna plug one in there. And then from there, it has to go to your receiver. So you're gonna just plug in a male to male and go from here. And you're gonna plug this into your rudder channel. In my case, on my radio, rudder is number four. So plug that in there. And then uh, last one says, Steering servo. This is the the steering servo for my airplane. I put an extension on here coming on from the front of the airplane all the way back to the front. Anyway, it's a long cable. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in and make the connection. Now, I haven't made any connections to the receiver yet, but I do want to show you something. Uh, this is the, the power cable coming off the AG68. And to power this, you need a 7.4 or 2S battery on there. I'm going to use a 25C2200 for now. And I'm going to show you something. Even if I plug in the lead right now, there's no receiver plugged in. Nothing happens. Why? Um, the actual receiver is what powers or sends a signal to this to turn on. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this. And um, the, uh, the airplane is getting the signal from... Um, from your rudder channel on, on the airplane. I'm gonna show you how I have it configured right now is uh, rudder, gear, brakes. So four, five, six, and then seven is steering. So I'm gonna make those connections right now to the airplane and I mean to the receiver and then we'll get started from there. Now here's the receiver. I have number four plugged in, but it, since I didn't have power to the receiver, that's why that didn't turn on. That's the steering, uh, telling it, to the you know, the steering servo and everything else, the input for the steering servo. Now, I'm going to get the brake in, and this is going to go from the AG68 to the receiver to your brake channel. Uh, if you recall, on my side, on my, I said it was number six, so we're going to go to number six and connect that up. And I am messing the gear in. Oh, um, the difference on this is I'm supposed to have the retracts connected directly to the to the uh, receiver here. So that's why uh, when the gear in, you might need a Y adapter. If you're using this only for for the brakes and not for the landing gear 
So then, therefore, there for right now, there is no signal going from this controller to the receiver telling it which one is the steering, uh, excuse me, the brakes, the retraction. So what you're going to have to do is if you're using this for only brakes, not the retracts, you're going to have to put in a Y adapter again in here. And this is the brake controller, and I'm going to put one in there. And I'm going to connect it again. Put it in here and follow the plus, minus, and signal. And what you're going to do now is you're going to connect this, the second one, to your receiver. Again, um, the instructions don't call out for a Y cable right here from the gear in. But if you're using it like this, only for brakes and not for the retracts, you're going to need a, uh, a Y cable uh, added on there. So this is my channel 5. And what I'm going to show you now is when I power up the receiver, I'm going to put a 6.6 .6 2200 for the receiver. And when I power on the receiver, you're going to see all the lights on the AG68 go on. There you go. See the flashing lights? So it's ready to program. The problem is that you want it to be in a, in a flat position, whether it's um, facing up like this, down like this, or uh, upside down, whichever way you want. You want it in a flat position where it's not going to move. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug the power to the receiver for now. And I'm going to put it on here flat, hopefully, right there. You can see, uh, um, let me lift this up. It's in a flat position, more or less, right there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the power back on the receiver and show you guys how to um, configure it. How to calibrate it. So now that... Uh, um, gyro is in a flat position I'm gonna go ahead and put in uh, the power now you can only do the configuration while both lights are flashing if it stops uh, that means it, it thinks it's already programmed but if you notice my nose wheel is a little bit crooked it's not straight so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna ump I'm gonna remove the power again and while the lights are flashing I'm gonna hold full left rudder so here goes I'm gonna plug it Plug it back in while the lights are flashing. Full left rudder. Well, they already stopped, but you can see. So I don't know if you caught that with the lights, um, but basically, um, when the when it's programmed, you see the lights flash like that. Right now, the rudder is actually facing uh, the steering and setting up correctly. Left is left, and then that's left. That's right. Now, if you want to know if it's programmed. You don't want to go out to the field and say, oh, it's not working, and get down there. Basically, the simplest form to find out if it's already working, if you slide the airplane or the nose of the airplane one way, you see that? It's giving opposite direction. And if you push it the other way, you see the wheel turning towards me? Here, let me uh, put the camera more in the front so you can see it. Right now, it's perfectly uh, straight and level. Notice the wheel turning? Now let's do it again the opposite way. Notice the wheel turning. There you go. Now, one of the things I didn't, um, um, I guess, show you while I was doing this, it, when I calibrate it, I'll do it again. And basically what you do is you're moving the, the, you're turning the brakes on and off until both lights turn solid again. Um, that or your nose wheel will actually move or twitch. If you're not looking at the lights, if you have this underneath the, the wires and you don't get to see anything, then what you want to do is, you know, just look for the nose wheel to twitch. Um, let me readjust the phone here. See if we can catch that. And here we go. Hold full left rudder. And then brakes on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. I don't think the gyro is perfectly straight right there. Nope, it's still getting ready to program. Oh, there it goes. So basically, it has to be, you know, it, in a position where it doesn't move. Not, right now, if I move it, my nose wheel is moving. If I just t touch the gyro, 
that's why and the other thing too is you want it in a position where it's set that if that's where you're going to be flying that's where you want the 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 gyro uh, to be programmed in it's going to be flat against the bottom tray down here but you know for there they there you go if you're using this for brakes only remember that you need a y cable going from your gear in to your retract controller and then to the nose i mean to the receiver so there's the gear down there's gear up and they all work good now when when i apply brake right now the light still turns on the red light but you don't hear the brake clicking or or the power going on back there on off all right guys thanks for watching hope you enjoy this